Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials channel. Uh, in this video today, we are going to learn how and when to use um, drag and drop block, which is called Restart Game. Uh, this one should be very, very short and fast, so let's get to it. Uh, we so far have in our game a player which can move left, right, up, and uh, Bottom and uh, he uh, disappears when the red um, triangle hits him when the collision between those two objects is turned on. So uh, that's all cool. But uh, what uh, I want to do now is when I, um, as we have seen here, when I finish my game, when my player dies, nothing happens in terms of uh, the screen stays on the um, the game stays on the screen, but I can uh, not see my player anymore. He died, and I cannot move anything. I cannot click on um, a play again or a start new level, start again, whatever. The only button I can click here is uh, exit game, which is cool. But to play it again, I would uh, have to run it here and so on and so on. Sometimes that. Uh, uh, isn't such a problem like uh, we have uh, here a very small game so we can do that but for a larger game or when it uh, comes um, more obvious that you have to play your game many times to test some uh, s some stuff in game level design or whatever uh, mechanics uh, then you will have to replay your game on and on uh, restart it again and again and then uh, it's not very st uh, smart to start it here with run f5 it takes time so it's much more smart it's much smarter to have some kind of button again in the game which will restart your game so it would be uh, easier and faster for you that way so let's make a restart button so what i want to do now is uh, to make a sprite first uh, I want to make it uh, I have uh, clicked on sprites right click create sprite to make a sprite I will call it SPR restart and I will go to edit image to make a sprite this time I will use some kind of a blue color to make it blue for background and for uh, some kind of I will try to make some kind of recycle like error arrow sorry arrow <laughs> and uh, yeah it looks ugly but it will do the work so uh, this should resemble the recycle the restart <laughs> and <laughs> not so ugly uh, um, I need to make object of it uh, right click create object obj uh, btn for button underscore restart um, and I will add sprite and I will add that asset into the room like this so um, yeah it's ugly but uh, it will work uh, so I need to add some kind of event here and um, I need to add some kind of action then into it. First, let me see uh, my other object button of VJ button exit. What we have used there, we have used left release. So let's use that again as event because I want, uh, oops, not coin, but OBJ button restart. So when do I want to restart the game? I want to restart the game when I click on this button. So we have two find some kind of a event which defines clicking and that is of course mouse and we can uh, choose left down left pressed or left released let's take left released as we explained before there are some subtle differences but mm, uh, this time we won't explain them and i will use this search toolbox to the search uh, uh, to find restart, restart, yeah, restart room, restart game. So we can restart the room or game. I will use this one uh, for now. And the good thing is that there there are no parameters in it. So uh, you can uh, click on it, but uh, there will not be any kind of menu. So you cannot go wrong with this one. Simple as that. 
and it will restart the game when you click on it so let's try it okay uh, the game starts i can move left and uh, right but i will die when i touch the red okay now i cannot move i don't have a player okay that was fast let me try again and that's it so i can do this as many times as i want and i even don't have to wait to my player for for my player to die i can just restart it again 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 or wait to die then restart and so on so this is very very simple but very powerful button the drag and drop block you will uh, again use it uh, probably in your game maybe not i don't know but uh, again we maybe don't need this button to be always on the screen but uh, maybe later when the player dies so i don't need it from the sh from the start but only when he dies i want to have some kind of menu play a game exit play again exit game and so on uh, we haven't done that yet but that could be interesting point for the future tutorials okay this one was short six minutes see you in uh, next videos keep on learning keep on making games in game maker studio scratch unity unreal whatever engine or applications you like or use bye for now